Here at the Munich Security Conference, there's a lot of talk about America's apparent desire to start disengaging from the world, particularly from its role in armed conflicts like Syria, Iraq and Afghanistan. That's made the Afghan delegation here nervous. And they look at the US and Russian efforts to start engaging in talks with the Taliban with a degree of nervousness. Are the Americans preparing to cut and run? Are the Afghans ready to fend for themselves? Dr. Hamdullah Mohib is the country's national security advisor, and he agreed to sit down and talk to me in a one-on-one -on -one express. So a theme of this year's conference, and I was reminding myself that it's actually not the first time we've heard this theme, um, focuses on American withdrawal, broadly speaking. Uh, its desire, particularly under this administration, to get out of trouble spots, to perhaps abandon its traditional leadership role. We've recently had the announcement on Syria, which took people by surprise, and we are hearing with increasing frequency of a desire to get out of Afghanistan after 17 years. This must worry you. Are you worried by that? On the contrary, this is a period where I think uh, we're crystallizing our uh, political and military uh, institutions. Um, it's, it, it gets us to self-reliance faster. Uh, and we were the ones, the Afghan government uh, was the one that requested our discussion uh, on the presence of U.S. troops and, and the support that we receive. As a matter of fact, yesterday uh, in Afghanistan, the discussions began on, uh, on our future, the future of our partnership with the United States. But presumably, you would be very against and very worried by any precipitous American military withdrawal. Look, you we can't can, afford them we to can walk talk away. about scenarios. Right? The reality today is that we have all of the support that the South Asia strategy affords us. Um, and Every, every day we work together, our partnership is still very strong. So yes, should we be preparing for all scenarios? We are, we are doing that. Like I said, we started that discussion in Kabul yesterday about what could be the, uh, the, the different options for uh, our future partnership. But our partnership as we stand it, uh, remains strong and we hope enduring. There are talks going on uh, the Americans seem to be keen to engage the Taliban, the Russians similarly, uh, but you appear to be excluded from that process. This must be a humiliating experience for the national government, surely, not to be included in those talks. We, as, a, as the representative government of the Afghan people, elected, uh, work with the wishes of what our people want. Uh, and the vast majority of the Afghans want to see peace in Afghanistan. We initiated that process. Um, and 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 are you know, welcoming any complementary efforts that may uh, support an are eventual. They, are they complementary or are they competitive? The peace process began with the Afghan um, uh, government's announcement of a ceasefire, which uh, then expediated and opened up doors. You ha you must uh, admit or and remember that um, before those efforts. Nobody was really looking at peace as a possibility. Nobody knew. There were a lot of risks. There were too many ifs and buts. There's much talk of this phrase of, of a peace process needing to be Afghan-owned and Afghan-led. And we know of your desperate history of being decisions being taken for Afghans by people outside, whether they're great powers or regional players. Are we getting to a situation where you can confidently predict that you'll be the your own boss eventually? Is that era of being meddled with coming to an end? The Afghanistan of today, the 2019, is not the Afghanistan of 2002 or 1996 or uh, the, uh, what their previous uh, images of the, our country were. We are confident, we are in the lead, and we will continue to be. It's our desire to bring peace to our country uh, we are going to rally our allies to, uh, to support that eventuality, um, and they are. We are thankful to them. And as we work on this uh, noble mission, uh, we hope that we will solidify our enduring partnership for a future uh, that would be a, a, a better and more constructive uh, role for um, all our neighborhood in, uh, in Afghanistan.